Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can remove Linux Mint from the dual boot menu. For this demonstration I'm using Hyper-V Manager. I currently have Windows 10 dual boot with Linux Mint virtual machine as we can see here. And we want to remove Linux Mint completely. We need to make sure we do the backup first because everything on Linux Mint partition will be gone. All the pictures, music, documents on Linux Mint operating system will be gone. So make sure you back up your picture music documents and then we can start this process. Okay, let's say we already backed up all the picture music documents from Linux Mint's operating system. Now we can go ahead and remove Linux Mint. Okay, first we need to go to Windows 10. Okay, as we can see Windows 10 is up and running. First we need to download EasyBCD which you can get it from if you go to this website. I will add the link to this video description. And then uh, we can see the plans. They have the free version for non-commercial purposes. Click register, your name, email address, and download. So since I have already downloaded and has been installed as we can see here. So let's go ahead and start the application. Right click, run as administrator. Yes. On this window, we need to click on edit boot menu. And here we can see the Linux Mint. We can go ahead, delete this entry. Yes. It will remove the Linux Mint from the boot menu. Next, we need to click on BCD backup and repair. Recreate, repair boot files, perform action. And going back to edit boot menu, also we can click on skip boot menu because we don't want to display the Windows 10 option since we don't have multiple operating system anymore and there is no need to ask us question what operating system we want to boot from. So we can simply select skip the boot menu and then save the settings. Okay, right now when we restart, we should be able to see only Windows 10. What we did so far, we removed Linux Mint from the boot menu. Next, we need to boot from Windows 10 and delete the partitions for Linux Mint and be able to use it for Windows 10. Let's go ahead and do that. We can close this window, restart Windows 10 virtual machine. As we can see, it didn't display the boot menu option to choose the operating system because we removed the Linux Mint from the boot menu. Right now, it's booting from Windows 10. Alright, as we can see, Windows 10 is up and running. Next, we need to delete the Linux Mint partition. First, we need to open Disk Management. Please go ahead, right-click on Start Menu and open Disk Management. We can maximize this window. As we can see, Disk 0, this is the, our hard drive which we have multiple partitions and the system reserved and the C drive, it's for Windows 10. We don't want to delete these two partitions. For Linux Mint, we had this partition and this partition. So we want to make sure only delete this volume, yes. And deleting this volume, yes. And then right click, delete the partition, yes. Okay, as we can see, we have unallocated space. We can simply right-click on C drive and extend volume. Next, next, and finish. So what we did, we remove all the partitions for Linux Mint and we did add to Windows 10. Right now, we have only Windows 10 operating system installed on this virtual machine. So let's go ahead, restart, just to confirm. Right-click, start menu, shut down or sign out, and click on restart. Okay, as we can see, it did restart the virtual machine. It didn't ask for a boot menu and Windows 10 is up and running. This was an example of removing Linux Mint from the dual boot menu option and delete the Linux Mint partitions so we can use the space for Windows 10. So at this point, we should have only Windows 10 operating system installed on this virtual machine. We can open disk management one more time to double check. This is our hard drive and only we have Windows 10 installed on the C drive. 
If you liked it, please press the like button. If you loved it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.